Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Net Producer Magazine, reporting to you here today from Oregon. I'm here with Nick Wyman, the Extension Specialist uh, for Hazelnuts uh, from Oregon State University. I wanted to talk about irrigation. We have a lot of new hazelnut acreage going in, and historically, uh, there hasn't been much irrigation at all because uh, Oregon's a pretty wet state, right? Yeah, that's correct. Although we have very dry summers, we have uh, adequate moisture about nine months of the year and historically you didn't need to irrigate hazelnuts. They are planted on prime soils and now this, the scene is changing a little bit because we're spreading out to more soil types and different orchard sites and, and also our summers are getting warmer than they used to be and so now we're seeing a lot of benefits to irrigating particularly young trees. Although historically we say we grew dry land I think a lot of times they would, um, you know, try to get a little bit of water on on young orchards at least. And at some point, people started also irrigating mature orchards to improve kernel fill. Right. So, so what options do do growers have uh, today uh, regarding irrigation? You know, we got drip systems, micro irrigation. I know some people are still pulling that, you know, have those those things that they're moving across the line to irrigate. Uh, uh, the, yes. ma the manual labor yes. <laughs> intensive version. Right. But uh, w what are the options growers have today when they're establishing a new orchard? Okay. Well, uh, a lot of it, of course, depends on water rights and access to water and how much water they um, ha have available. So it runs from the bucket brigade, which is if you don't have access to water, you're filling up buckets that have little holes in them and leaving those for the trees to drip systems. We're starting to see more full coverage systems and um, micro sprinklers really haven't caught on yet, but we're using them in our research. And one system that I think is gaining a lot of momentum is subsurface because of the way we harvest nuts. And in the fall, um, if you have drip tubes, a lot of guys um, pull those up and roll them up for the season before harvest because um, we're sweeping nuts off the ground and um, it's easy to do damage to your irrigation lines. So that's where I think the subsurface systems have a big advantage because um, obviously once they're in the ground you don't have to worry about manipulating the lines and getting those out of your way for, for harvest. I've also seen where people now are burying lines for full coverage systems. So there again, you're reducing the amount of line that's going to get in your way during harvest. You're just looking at a riser with a sprinkler on top of it. And we've seen that uh, trees really respond well to irrigation and uh, particularly full coverage systems we've um, seen amazing um, growth with on young orchards. Um, but, but drip can work just as well. A lot of it just depends on um, the frequency of applications and the set time. and mm -hmm. And so I would just reiterate that there's not really a wrong way to irrigate as long as you're delivering the, the water to the root zone of, of the tree. So obviously as trees get bigger, that target zone changes a little bit, but hazelnuts are very shallow rooted. So generally we're watering to the upper two feet of the soil profile. Great, well thank you, Nick. Read more about uh, managing hazelnut orchards in Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. If you don't currently receive it, uh, be sure to subscribe for free today at PacificNutProducer.com. I'm Matthew Malcolm, PacificNutProducer.com.